Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What time is it? That's right, it's near the end of the month. It's actually legitimately the end of the month because it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone! And for Halloween, I'm going to show you the spooky future that beholds you, which is a, a, a month that features Morgan and Castoria at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but in the same month. So we're going to go over the stuff that's going to be coming for November 2024. And some of the stuff that we also just don't know because of the way the NA works right now. So let's get right into it. And just as a quick reminder for anyone that does not know, um, the reason that I'm able to look into the past is because the NA version of the game is two years behind. So that allows us to look into the past and see specifically how it's done. NA has a kind of weird timeline, which I will get into it a little bit more. But for the most part, the events that happened during November should be pretty much on track for it, with the exception of some stuff, which I will bring up as soon as it happens. So... Currently, on the NA side, they've announced that the Caldea Time Limb Cup uh, pre-release campaign will be starting. So on today at Day Roll, depending on when you see this video actually, uh, Morgan will have her banner out. Um, there it is, literally the Morgan banner. Do you want Morgan? Get Morgan. And if we look here on JP, uh, let me go back a little bit, here we go. We look back here on JP, uh, this is what it looked like for them. Uh, this started around November 2nd to November 9th. And it also had Advanced Quest Part 10, so we're all good here. One thing to kind of keep in mind, because it's going to be happening throughout, I think, up until December, is that there's going to be a bunch of Singularity Report support campaigns. If I remember right, looking at here, this one goes up till... Okay, these all go to November. So my brother already covered the one featuring Jalter, but we would expect a banner that features Altera that features Drake, that features Mordred and Jack, that features Maeve and Kualtar, that features Dantes, that features Ozymandias, that features uh, Quetzalcoatl, and that also features Moriarty, uh, Sherazade, Musashi, and Abigail Williams. And these should be coming, coming, going to be coming out for all of November, so it's something to kind of keep in mind if you are interested in any of these characters. Or if you're just interested in getting another MP copy for your MP3 Quetzalcoatl, that you could really use just like three more copies, because then you'll be able to get her to level 120 and have her max powered, and then have all the all the specific coin stuff ready for her until the time comes where we get the JP update where they add even more stuff into it. But then by then you should get more pen coins for things. In theory, if for someone who has that type of type of Quetzalcoatl thirst coin for you. Expected around this time. Um, since this is going on now, this one should be coming up probably around the same time as Morgan, if not maybe a day later. So keep a uh, keep a lookout for that. Next, we have the Caldea Fairy Cup, uh, bleh, the Caldea Fairy Night Cup, or as we calling it, the Tam Lim Cup, which will require you to have cleared Avalon Le Fay if you want access to the story. If you don't want access to the story and all you care about are the free quests and the exhibition quests, congratulations, all you need to do is clear Fuyuki and you have access to it, which is good because this is a Lotto grind event. Um, inside the Lotto itself for this year, uh, these are the prizes that are inside of it. If you don't know what a Lotto grind is, Lotto grind is basically, um, there's a box and inside the box is about, um, I guess 300 items. I, no, a hundred items, something like that. There's a bunch of there's a buttload of stuff in it, and then you pull on it a whole bunch to get all the stuff. In this specific lot of bots, we got Stinger of Certain Death, Heroes Proof, um, Iron Stakes, and a bunch of gems for all the different saber classes, along with EXP, QP, Friend Points, a Mana Prisms, some apples for the first ten of them, but none after that. The Grind CE and the specific Cyrano's plush. And these can be grinded into infinity after uh, a certain bit here. So a lot of the time, people use these use this event specifically to grind up any of the materials that are featured here that they need, such as the three I mentioned here, along with the uh, homunculus baby and the aurora steel, and also these gems to get full up, along with uh, to level up your units because you get up twenty five exp, get a bunch of mana prisms because you can sell these three exps because they're not really worth all that much. And then you'll also be getting a buttload of mana prisms with that as well. And if you see here, after the 11th, we'll still get three bronze apples every single um, 
box and stuff like that. So it'll be a good way of kind of getting a buttload of stuff and getting I've, per box if you get absolutely everything 4.48 million. Um, you can skip box one through ten after you get the grand prize, which is going to be the count stretch. Um, but I typically don't do it anymore. I did it when I was a, um, a newer player, but I stopped doing it and I just get everything in the box now, uh, because you need a lot of materials in Fago. And besides that, there's also going to be an exhibition quest, which will feature a bunch of tough fights. Um, these are going to be extremely difficult, but if you're able to beat them, you'll get a singular, a singular single ticket and there'll be at least seven fights. So you'll be able to get at least seven tickets from that. You just have to remember that you can't full revive and that you can't have identical servants to it. I look forward to doing these with my brother when the time comes. Uh, and the free quests will change um, kind of dependent. Like here, the first checkpoint, you'll have the first seven here with um, this one being always the best one for grinding stuff. And then you go to the second checkpoint, which just happens the next time. And then we go to the third. And it's a bunch of different fights. Um, just remember to do them. But for the third checkpoint, that's going to be the one where you'll be grinding all of it. Because it's all the way at the end here. Uh, and, yep, yeah, pretty simple stuff here. It'll be like any other quest um, as you go through it. And in terms of the story, I don't know very much about it. In terms of the event, it should be a very simple lotto grind. Because there's nothing else to it for that. In terms of the summoning campaign, it will feature Brittle Mart along with Best Girl Bargast and the other girl, Babo Sif. I'm just kidding. Please don't get mad at me, uh, Trico fans. <laughs> Your girl is also very good. I have to mention it or some, someone's going to come after me. But it's very clear I have a bias toward, toward, toward Vargas. And I actually really like Brittle Mart. And my brother also did a video of playing Binding of Isaac to determine how much summons he's going to do for Brittle Mart. So there's going to be a summon video for this <laughs> when the time comes. I'll go into deeper details about them, but this is just to make you aware of it for now. I'll make it, um, this should happen actually pretty close to the end of this one, which should be technically on the 6th, we will enter maintenance, and when maintenance is done, it will start on the 7th, so keep that in mind. Um, other summon campaigns will feature Charlemagne, Bradamante, and Roland, and then another one that will feature Brynhildr, uh, Sigurd, Sakatakindoki, Krimhild, Siegfried, and Heracles. All pretty cool stuff here. And that's going to be the Caldea Fairy Night Cup, and that's going to be the main event for November. Because you can see here in uh, JP, this lasted from the 9th to the 23rd, which is two weeks or so. Um, and it's understand this is going to be not the last event of the year, but it's going to be pretty close to it, because next is a Christmas. But sometime after this event, or probably during it, this is where things are going to get a little bit weird. Um, we have the Lost Belt 7 pre-release support campaign. And this is going to be the thing that's going to feature... It's going to have the, the, the basic stuff. It's going to have limited missions where you can get quartz, uh, stones, and 5 EXP to help you grind out. Along with um, getting 10 SQ if you are able to beat Avalon Le Fay. So you get a total of 22 St. Quartz if you're able to do everything here featured. Which is basically just clearing the main story. And doing Avalon Le Fay and beating it. Um, you get Leyline Stones, there'll be other campaigns related to it, but the most important thing here is that there's going to be a summoning campaign where you will get a chance to summon for Artoria Caster and Leonardo da Vinci Rider, along with some Rado Craft Essence that I believe come from um, the two years that they were anniversary units. Um, and this is an absolutely insane. Da Vinci is absolutely a very good AoE writer. I think I would love to have her for sure. Um, she's great. But she does not compare to Castoria. Castoria is <laughs> amazing. There's multiple videos of me talking about how good Castoria is, and I can't wait to do another one. <laughs> but she's unbelievably good. She's definitely a unit that's worth going for and trying to break something, trying to go for her. Uh, unless you just don't care about arts at all. But even then, I would still say she's good to have. But you know what? Different strokes, different folks, and all that. This is going to be the big thing near the end of November. There will also be an advanced quest part 11, which I can just tack on here at the end. But there's actually something else, something that is NA exclusive that only happens during NA time that is NA exclusive. And that is, of course, the... Not the advent cal calendar, even though it does start on the 30th. Um, it's the Thanksgiving Day special. And this is a special banner that features units that... Of not usually it's fan favorite characters, but there's no real rhyme or reason. This is what last year's was. It was the Saber of Stolfo 
Gene Summer, Semiramis, Kama, Amakasu Shiro, Kiara, Abigail Williams, Siegfried, uh, Franz Saber, Adla Atalanta, Shirdon, Astolfo, Mordred Ryder, Frankenstein. It's a way for them to throw a bunch of units at you that you may be attempted in that have not had a banner either in a while, or in some cases, they just want them <laughs> to have another banner so they can make you spend, say, quartz before um, some of the bigger events that come later in the year. And I don't believe there's a rhyme or reason for when this banner actually happens. Like, this year, last year was on the 21st. The year before that, it was on the 24th. The year before that, it was the 24th again. The year before that, it was the 19th. There's no rhyme or reason to what what units get picked for it when they release it. They just kind of like, ha it's based off of vibes, man. 20th. The, the very at the very least we know it's sometime after um near the end of the month compared to the other ones and yep there is gills uh not gills <laughs> that was gonna call him gills of reyes but no that's gilgamesh um and this is an na exclusive banner and as such we can i can't prepare you for it other than to say like hey um it literally any unit could be on it because you can see here the main focus unit for this year it was comma for the year before that it was um benny it was benny right here for the year before that it was skahawk the year before that it was musashi the year before that it was okita the year before that it was gilgamesh and then the year before that i don't think we had it in we did it was skahawk again that's why we celebrate under the ska turkey so your guess is as good as mine as to which ones are going to come up. I am going to have a video where I'm going to guess what potential units could be coming with my brother. Where the loser of that will have to be forced to play a game of the other's choosing. Probably around Halloween time. For 13 Nights of Halloween as a follow-up for it. Um, we'll talk about it. I actually don't, we'll don't know. It, it's going to be fun. But either way... Um, that's what to expect in November. That's basically it. There's really no way to prepare for this. If you're wondering how do I prepare for this, you just have to remember that for the most part, you know that it's not going to be Castoria, Morgan, Oberon, um, Muramasa. Uh, oh, uh, I already said Oberon. Melusane. It's not going to be any of them because a lot of them already had a ban banner in November or near the end of November or, or have one in December. Which is going to be around uh, here for the pre-release for it. Um, uh, pre-release. No, it's part four, I believe. Here's where Coin Sky is. Mm, it was the Lost Belt 6 campaign. Yep, there they are. It's going to be a lot of stuff. And this one even features Koo Caster, which I, I think I remember seeing a comment of someone asking for it. But unfortunately, I was gone. <laughs> I was on vacation at the time, so I could not answer him. But someone in the comments was able to tell him that this was coming up. There's a lot of good stuff coming up for this year. And then obviously into the new year, we have Rasputin, Cuckoo Tez, and a bunch of other dudes coming. And then even beyond that, we have Draco. So, you know, it's the time. It's the season of the year. It's the reason for the season. It's a lot of worrying about what are you going to summon for. Uh, thankfully for me, after Brittle Mart, I don't believe... I have to just... After Brittle Mart, I just basically have to avoid ever seeing Quetzalcoatl because, uh, like I've said in the past, I have a little bit of a bad habit of always spending Zen Quartz whenever I see that a Quetz banner is up and around. So I just remember have to I have to avoid that. I doubt that they'll be able to release a unit that I care about during the Thanksgiving Day banner because for the most part, I own a lot of the big uh, the big units on it, like Kama. I don't have Gilgamesh, but I'm not usually. S Super hyped to summon for Gilgamesh. Skahawk, I already have MP3 somehow. <laughs> so I'm usually pretty good. So after Brittle Mart, I should be done summoning for the remainder of the year. And I just have to worry about units that will be coming later at the year. But that's it for this month in Fago. Very simple stuff, actually, for as far as November is concerned. Just a fuck ton of banners. And the main thing is that if you're not summoning on banners... We have Caldea Fairy Night Cup, which everyone should be getting ready for the Lotto Grind and getting their teams ready. I have to look into that as well to get my stuff ready, but I have a feeling my main team is already going to be Summer Ibuki doing her stuff because why wouldn't I just use her? Um, she's really good. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, have a happy Halloween. 
If you're not watching on Halloween, thanks for watching when it's not Halloween. Until next time, everyone. Peace out. Goodbye.